Okay. For the first, just ever time, I'm recording. Because I do streams perfectly the first try, every try. Okay, YouTube? Yeah, you, you best believe that. Don't believe the lies that's on my Twitch VOD of all the desperate attempts to get this to work. We're good? Just a little buffer time. Just, you know, waiting in here. Waiting on the, the welcome screen. Thanks for coming, by the way. Glad to have you. Jonah, uh, let's just refresh this real quick, because it uh, needs to be. Resubscribed for the seventh month in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back. Hopefully, I'll stick around this time. Um, we got some murders to solve. We've got a Turing to accuse of murder. But before that, I just am going to drag this out a little bit longer just to see if Twitch starts being a little bit mean to me. But it looks like Twitch is being a nice, uh, being a nice, 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 nice tonight. Uh, I think we're good to go. Of course, we gotta give the music a little bit of time to... Yeah, that's the good stuff. How sound, by the way? Gotta ask, gotta make sure. And load. Everyone dead. How you doing, Turing? Let's keep it the path we're on. Listen, I, I last time you said we needed to stop that path because of all these murders happening around us. Turing. I know. I know your secret, but you're being too blatant about it. Sounds perfect. Excellent. Love to hear it. Okay, well I guess we're getting out of here. Poor Wil Rip Wilty, by the way. Poor poor guy. Come on. What's up, Turing? What's got you so sigh? Yep, something wrong. What's what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you? I was wool gathering. What? You got you got sheep? What? Is that is that a thing? Is that a saying? Is that a, is that is that a word? It's a fun word. I'm gonna have to look that up later. I see we've arrived at the Melody Flora's residence. It's quite impressive. That it be. But that's to be expected, considering that she is still the majority owner of the Flower Cybernetics Group, despite retiring from day-to-day -day operations at the company. I wonder how she and Hayden first began working together. That's not a question. Like, I know he did the face thing, and there's a mark there, but none of what was just said is a question. Just wanted to nitpick that a little bit. Sorry. Back on task. Is there anything you'd like to know before we head inside? Uh... I want to know if Twitch is doing good still. Yeah, looks good. Okay. We'll gather to engage in fanciful daydreaming. That is a new one. Also... Fanciful daydreaming is a pretty, like, positive way of looking at it to me. Maybe it, you know, just means any kind of daydreaming or whatever, but... What kind of fanciful daydreaming is this little guy up to? What, what are you doing fanciful daydreaming about all the murders that happened yesterday? My guy, what's going on? Right, let's see. Give me the rung down. Uh, can you tell me about Melody? Uh, didn't Vanek say he was he and Melody had a falling out? Or let's go ahead. Uh, right, sure. Flower Cybernetics was established in the early 2000s by Melody's mother, Antonella. Me. It started out developing cutting-edge medical tech, including advanced prosthesis and nanoparticle diagnostic and treatment technologies. They were vastly successful when they perfected the first synthetic nerve mesh, allowing direct connection and control between the nervous system and a cybernetic prosthesis. 
the majority of their early projects were defense technologies for the American military. Developing ruggedized military prosthesis for use on injured soldiers, and then eventually electively for special forces. This research line culminated in the development of brain-controlled androids as shock troops, long since barred by international law. Melody took over the company from her aging mother, and she fought against developing further military hardware from that point on. She pushed the company to use the BCA technology for the company's original goals of medical advancement, as well as developing the first direct link virtual reality implants. The company is largely successful on a global scale, despite continued legislative movement against extensive cybernetic use, especially brain implants. Alright, that was a lot more information than I was expecting. Um, but cool, good to know. A little, little fleshing out of the world. I like it. Now we know where the mesh nets and all that come from. Also, Jonah, welcome to 60 FPS. Hope you enjoy your stay. And what we got about Melody? Mm, not a whole lot. Oh. She's largely private, in contrast to her mother's penchant for courting a media circus. Several biographies of former flower executives show her as intensely passionate about demilitarizing the company to the point of absolute viciousness in the boardroom. But it's been a long time since her days of fighting for the company, and she's since stepped away from the helm. There's talk that she's lost her spine in her old age, but... Well, I take that with a grain of salt. Curve legal. She may have retreated from the corporate battlefield, but you don't change the entire direction of a company as large as Flower if you're a quitter. Stay on your toes. Alright, and didn't Yannick say he and Melody had a falling out? Yo, Nagi, how you doing? He did, and I can't shine much light on that. I know that System 1 worked with Flower to help develop the first operating systems for the Direct Link Virtual Reality Implants, so perhaps it happened during that time. Nice. Well, enjoy your chillin', Nagi. Hopefully this here murder mystery in the di far off future of 2064 will help keep you chill and soothe tonight. Also, Flower eventually went with a different company for future models of the implant, but there was never any public talk of a personal falling out between the heads of the companies. I'll scrape the mesh for more rumors, but they'll only be that, rumors. I can do my best to parse facts from fiction, but it blurs too much for me to be sure what's real. Let's go ahead and head in. No time like the present, then. Uh, well, let's check out. Oh, it's a bear. Definitely gotta look at the bear. Small scale bear statues guard the entrance to the mansion. Alright. Look at that. Windows line the front of the house and broadcast the hints of an expert, an expertly designed den inside. Also, we gotta touch the line for bear. You can't take it. Not marble nor gilded monuments. Cool. All right. Uh, ring the doorbell. Oh my! I love them. Hello, er. Uh, hi, is Melody home? I see. Alright then. Thank you. Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. She's a woman of taste, clearly. Mine says we can go in? Absolutely. Should we? Yeah, the door's wide open. We got purpose, we got reason, we got motivations. Let's go. Swanky. What? I have 
been trying to increase my usage of colloquialisms. Like, wool gathering? Is swanky too out of date? I don't know. I like a good amount. I got. I like a good amount of swank in my place. And look at her. She's being all swanky. And look at him. He's being all swanky. That might be a her as well. I don't know. What's this? No doubt a very swanky creature. But yeah, you know what? We'll go with swanky. It's certainly before my time. Oh, Miss Flores. Excuse us for the intrusion. My name is Turin, and oh, I know who you are. I know you don't like Dr. Fairlight very much, but I assure you there is a situation. Fairlight? Hmm. I didn't realize Hayden's research had become a charity case. Though I suppose little boy Yannick will throw money at anything that raises his profile on the mesh. Wait, you know Hayden? Also, we actually only just met Dr. Fairlight yesterday. Oh, that's too bad. Now Pat won't have to eat you. <laughs> oh, he's... He looks as confused as I am. What? Though I'm not sure your gears would have been good for his digestion. Actually, madam, Comprised of gears. Well, either way, he's on a diet. I love him. This philosophy is how I lead my life. Sometimes you eat the bear, and sometimes the bear, well, he eats you. Yeah, Pat's a, Pat's a good. Pat's a good. We need more Pat in our life. Also, so far. I've noticed you're a very not eaten. Funny how that works. Do you understand? No. Not really. Look, I don't have all day to entertain you, Turin, nor your new friend. Not even for Hayden. Do I eat bears? Uh, not typically. A little bit too hairy. But, uh, boy howdy. Did I love me a big old polar bear back in the day. I even had one, a uh, like a, a stuffed animal bear that was like as big as I was when I was but, but a wee tiny tyke, so it's not as impressive. Oh, but if I could bring Large Paws, that was his name. Oh, Large Paws. I should get me another stuffed bear. Pa potentially to get eaten by. You don't have time to waste if you're going to find him either. Well, Finding him isn't the issue anymore. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Poor Turin. Uh, just yeah. Uh, Rom. Let's check out this here Rom. Uh, let's just Rosie eight nine three unit from the emblem on its side. It sits patiently near Pat in sort of an ambient sleep mode, playing light instrumental music. Lovely, Pat. How you doing? So, uh, Gur and stuff. Yeah, exactly. We get along. You and me, you and me, Pat? Let's, let's touch. Pat is Melody's butler, not yours. He will offer service when and only when his mistress permits. That's a devoted man. Bear. Pat. Only Miss Flores and a team of techno-archaeologists could figure out how to make this fossil run. Alright, we gotta check out Cat. Cat and Pat. Ha, ah, now on Fox. The most regal-looking robotic cat in the world sits prim and proper on the fainting chair. Fainting chair. Ah, it's fainting chair. You give the cat a pet. The name on their collar says Lily. Ah, lovely. Hello, Lily. How you doing? It looks remarkably bored at all attempts at conversation. Oh, <laughs> it's so realistic. How about that? Melody, how are you? Let's take a look. Melody Floors, an machine heiress and owner of the Flower Cybernex Group. Okay, let's give her a little touch. Try again when you have a trust fund or hold a majority of a Fortune 500 company. Okay. If you were one of Fairlight's worker bees, you wouldn't have made it through the door. So why are you here to badger me about poor Hayden? Because he's dead, lady, and I think this robot did it. You have me at a disadvantage, Ms. Flores. You seem far ahead of us. 
us on this matter. Just call me Melody, darling. And of course. But I'll share a secret or two with you. Can you open your eyes? Is that, is that her secret? I have so many questions. Do you know what's happened to Hayden? I wish I didn't. Maybe you don't want to either. Please, Melody. Any information you might have. We haven't had access to any of his research notes and couldn't track down any collaborators he may have been working with. Perhaps if we know more, we might be able to nail down a solid motive. Well, I don't know if I can speculate on that beyond the usual corporate infighting. Not that Parallax is known for that, of course. We had been catching up recently, and he mentioned feelings of being watched. He started to worry you had been discussing your development with the wrong people. When he stopped returning my calls, and now that you've shown up with a total stranger, it becomes clear what happened. I... I see. Can you tell us anything else about his disappearance? Oh, I'm afraid not, dear. I've been around long enough to know what's coincidence and what isn't. Hmm. We were hoping you might be able to shine some light on my origins. Fairlight mentioned that you had worked with Hayden in the past. I see Hayden didn't neglect curiosity in your personality makeup. Well... You and I haven't properly met, but considering how often Hayden badgered me for design schematics of Flower's latest neural implants, I might as well be your aunt. Oh, family meeting. Lovely. We'll go with that. I wouldn't mind being an aunt, even to a blue-headed robot. I'm touched, Melody. Well then, I'm willing to answer your questions, for now. Let's see. Um, how did you help Hayden with Turing? Like, or Turing? I don't see the connection between your company and Hayden's research into machine sapience. Oh, Hayden wasn't researching machine sapience. At least not primarily. Not to diminish the importance of your creation, Turing, but it's best you know the truth. And that is... Hayden is mainly interested in developing a way to transfer human consciousness into a machine matrix. <gasps> is Turing Hayden? Is that the big twist? You can see why neural implants would obviously be an integral part of that. Oh, I didn't realize. I don't think that would make sense, but what a twist that would be. Let's see. How would Turing's development help with the digitization of your mind? Can you elaborate on your involvement? Or Hayden wasn't invested. All right, how would Turing's development, yeah. The concept of transferring the human mind into a computer has been an attractive goal for decades. Functional immortality is a powerful lure. Hey, she did open her eyes. All right. Mystery solved. The brain is an immensely complicated machine, and even though we know the right buttons to push to make pictures show up, we still can't replicate the entire thing as a technological construct. Even with the virtual reality implants, we're really just relying on the brain's ability to make sense of nonsensical signals. So Hayden decided the best way to make a machine more like the human brain would be to work in the opposite direction. Instead of mimicking how the human brain worked, he started writing code that mimicked the functioning of the human mind. Think of it like convergent evolution. Two species adapt in similar ways, but on completely different continents. 
Hayden is a crack programmer when it comes to information collating. It's why Parallax hired him when they did. So he wrote a bunch of self-modifying learning algorithms that were, <laughs> frankly, baffling and let them loose. Poke and prod them here and there to make sure they value the same thing as humans do. And we eventually end up with you, Turing. Interesting. Hayden never revealed any of this to me. I imagine he's pretty tight-lipped. You were the first prototype he considered a real success, and he was afraid of contaminating your development before he had a chance to make good observations. Let's see. Hey, can you elaborate on your involvement? Sure, if you can even call it involvement. It's a small city. And if you're in the tech sector, you are never more than two degrees removed from anyone else. When he started looking into this pet project of his, he came right up to my door and demanded access to the research logs behind our earlier implants. Cheeky, but it was impactful and disruptive, as they like to say around here. I couldn't care less about flowers patents anymore. So I gave him what he wanted, just to see what he would do. I'm frankly more impressed than I expected I would be, but <laughs> don't tell him that. Don't worry. I won't. Sad. Very sad. Oh, that was a compliment, dear. Aiden wasn't invested in Turing's development? I didn't say that. Music change. Hayden was quite interested in Turing, even if he is just a step to further research. I... In fact, he was preparing to publish his findings involving Turing. And I know it's going to make one heck of a splash in the scientific community. See, the most impressive part about you, Turing, is that you're surprisingly stock. I assure you, Melody, my construction involves only the latest and greatest in ROM prototype technology. Exactly. You're not off the shelf, but you're still just a souped-up ROM, more or less like every other one out there. Your personality algorithms are impressive, but they don't require some new space-age technology to work. Hayden is going to propose that human consciousness transference does not require special brain-like hardware architecture, but merely the right software wrapper to interface with the hardware. Much like how you function. Hmm, I suppose that is correct. Still, my personality matrices do take up substantial amounts of my processing power. Wouldn't custom hardware have capabilities that better serve such a demanding specialized task? Sure. There's still plenty of reason in trying to make a computer that works just like a human brain. Efficiency is an important part of that. But if Hayden can emulate the human mind in existing technology, it means we can start the immortality now, rather than waiting for hardware to catch up with Hayden's software. Frankly, I'm not terribly interested in living forever, but there's more than enough people who are. Thank you for this, Melody. I understand so little of my origins. I think we got a good picture. Well, I'm sorry I don't know more of the specifics. Well, you know, not a whole whole lot, but like, you know, Turing now knows about how much, about as much as I know about how I was made. Which, to be honest, I don't want to know too much about. So you know what, Turing? Let's let's keep it that way for the both of us. 
Hayden kept me up to date on his progress, but only in the vaguest of ways. If you can hunt down his notes, I'm sure they'll tell you more. Of course, we'll keep looking. Now, perhaps we could ask some other questions? Sure, sure. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Uh, yeah, what story between you and Fairlight? Hell, that old bastard and I have been flashing daggers at each other for the better part of 20 years. <laughs> What's that? Is that romantic tension I smell? Probably not. I contracted out the software development for our first-gen direct link VR neural implant to System 1. Things were going great, but after the first model sold like gangbusters, Yannick tried to get into bed with me, literally. Aha! Point proven. Uh, also, where is gangbusters and how well do they sell? I turned him down, very politely, I might add, and then... Suddenly, all of the cooperation between our companies dried up. Oh, that's that's just rude. That was just rude. It's a shame. I was only half right. The one side of romantic tension. Rude, Fairlight. Rude. You you're getting a point on the possible murder board. We've been at it back and forth ever since. I'd be damned careful about trusting him if I were you. He's a snake, and he'll do anything he can to get what he wants. Still, I suppose if he tried again now, I might not turn him down. <laughs> I'm a genius detective. It would be fun to needle him about me still having my own company when he doesn't have his. <laughs> I think it's everything I need to know. You're painting Fairlight in a pretty uh, dark picture right now, which probably means he's not the killer. I mean, you know, all the evidence points to him. So circumstantial, of course, but the immortality for an old man that's already on the, you know, cooked up to a computer all the time. Yeah, he, him being a snake. So it can't be him. So it's gotta be, uh, Pat, who do you think it is? Oh. Let's find out. Good. I can get back to my retirement. Thank you for your time, Melody. We'll be in touch later. Oh, one more piece of information for you, if you'd like it. I've got the contact info for a Vincent Mensa, who I think might be of help to you. Vincent was working more closely with Hayden inside Parallax, mostly on his company-approved research on data collating algorithms for the mesh. I'll send him a message and ask him to meet you somewhere. Oh, this is a familiar turn of events. Hopefully you don't turn up dead, and everyone that we meet will also not turn up dead. I'd, I'd like that. He owes me a favor anyway, and be able to give you some more information on anything else Hayden may have been working on. That would be fantastic, Melody. Perhaps Golden Gate Park. Be careful, Tori. I don't like Fairlight stench all over this scenario. Don't show him too many of your cards. Cards? I already gave away his card. Really? But you know wool gathering? Also, we don't have Fairlight's card anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. Don't tell him anything if you can. Fairlight is more dangerous the more he's informed. Thank you, Aunt Melody. Wish us luck. Oh, that's kind of cute, Auntie Melody. You've been a great help. And Pat, let me just, can I, can I get, um, have some headphones. 
Bo with that little helmet of his he's wear is constantly translating the TV into growls and grunts in his ears so he can understand. That's how that works. Alright, well, bye. Thank you. Alright. Actually, before that, you can work. Uh. Da, da, da. Menu. Go ahead and. Come on. Right. Save. And. Save. Yes. Uh. That. Good. That's not. There we go. Oh. That could be. Excellent. Da 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 da. Now we can go. Guy. But what about Alfie? One eight or I eight three. How you doing, little buddy? Setting it at sixty FPS. Still is important. Ah, oh, shit! You know what that means? Water sip. <sighs> Thank you. I'd love some. Guy, how you doing? Uh, you've never seen this person, and they appear to be waiting for somebody. Perhaps this is who you're supposed to meet. Oh, one more. All right. So, Jonah sponsoring some double hydration. For my health, thank you. Delicious. Ah, so I've missed water so much, just... Been avoiding it. You know, gotta, gotta save my water time for the streams. It's like two full weeks, just... Staunch dehydration. But it's good to be back. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Can I... I don't know. Can you? I, I don't really have time to talk. I'm waiting for someone. So am I. Um, are you Vincent Mensa? We're here for a meeting on behalf of Melody Flores. Oh, good. You're Melody's name. Do you have everything that I asked for? What? Uh, there must be some miscommunication. Melody said that you would be able to provide us with some information about Hayden Weber's projects within Parallax. He has gone missing, and any information we get may be useful. Damn that old woman. That, that was acting. That was an angry voice right there. What? We had a deal. She promised me, and I'm not giving up anything until I get what I need. I already know Hayden is missing. Why else would I be willing to sell corporate secrets to Flower? This was my chance to get out of the city. Instead, she sends the two of you, hat in hand with nothing. <sighs> Melody's starting to sound like a snake as well. I'm assuming you're Hayden's little pet AI. Also, oh, are you going to score that he's wearing a power level gauge? Just, okay. Alright. Insulting, but accurate. Look, I'm sorry to come off callous. I, I do want to help. Hayden was a colleague and a friend, and I want to know he's okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. But I also need help getting the hell out of Neo SF, and now. My info is my leverage, and it's not for free. I'll just have to find another buyer. Maybe after I make another deal, I'll be able to pass it to you. Perhaps we could assist you? My friend here is a terrific journalist. Being skilled at hunting down people and information is part of the job. Uh... I don't know. Look, I need a hundred thousand credits, an untraceable car, and a fake passport for me and my wife, Francesca. That's 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 some information you're giving away pretty freely for someone that wants to, you know, escape. If you can get me all that, I'll give you anything you want. Hayden's research notes? 
Want to know about Parallax, my company's security credentials, whatever. I bet Tomcat would love to hear all this. If you're really sure a journalist can come up with that kind of stuff in one day. Well, probably not, but you know, nothing venture, nothing gain. Let's give it a shot. We might be able to do just that. Might? Listen, dude, come on, come on. You're selling, uh, you know, corporate secrets. You can't, you can't have any certainty here, right? Right. Just don't worry about it. Don't, uh, I'm not going to throw you under the bus. Not until we get that sweet, sweet info anyway. Do you mind answering some other questions first? Dear God, I'm doomed. That was an odd reaction, but I understand you're... Melody only gave us a rough sketch of what you need. The more you can tell us about the situation, the sooner we can fulfill your request. Uh, sure. As long as it isn't the juicy stuff. Alright, what do you do for Parallax? I'm the head applications engineer for their data analysis division. Or maybe was, is what I should be saying. If Hayden is the big brain who comes up with the math that runs the search algorithms, I'm the guy who figures out how to collect and apply the data that we get. We've worked pretty closely for years, but he's head and shoulders above me as far as theory goes. Hayden built a fully independent machine intelligence in his spare time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash myself here. I'm a good software engineer, probably one of the best. But machine intelligence? In a form factor like yours? Now that blows my mind. We've got full immersion, virtual reality, yet most people would still call you science fiction. Mm, if you say so. Let's see, why are you so adamant about getting out of Neo SF? Because Parallax is rotting from the inside out. Hayden going missing is the last straw, and it's a big ass straw. There is. How do I put this without giving it away? There's a new project about to roll out, and it's going to change everything about how Parallax does their business worldwide. Since the launch of MeshNet, we've had some board shakeups, and the people at the top are different from the ones who previously run the company. The altruism the company displayed in the past is gone. They're harder, more ruthless, and more concerned with profits and power than ever before. Not just richest company in the valley power either. Real power. My guess? Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to do something that would... get in the way of that. If they're willing to get rid of the brightest mind on their payroll, what's to stop them from getting rid of me? There's a half dozen people who could do my job. So I'm getting out before I accidentally step on the wrong person's toes and end up at the bottom of the bay. Alright, do you know anything about Hayden's disappearance? Nothing concrete. I probably wouldn't have noticed anything out of the ordinary. I mean, Hayden goes out for a couple days all the time, right? Conferences and guest teaching. He doesn't exactly share his itinerary with me. I tried asking around and no one will say anything. If he had jumped ship, went to a different company, it would be the talk of the week at the water cooler. Instead, dead silence. Thankfully, he allowed me to keep backups of most of his work, simply because I cross-referenced it so much. He didn't like having it all in one place anyway. Bring me what I asked for, and I'll tell you more. Alright. Thank you. We'll get those things for you. I need to make some calls in this part where I'm as fun. I want to poke at it a bit. <laughs> if you do manage to get what I need, bring it here today and you'll get anything you want. Forwarding photos and info for the passports to touring now. And I really hope you can do this. Me too. I'd rather give it to you than some other corporation anyway. See you soon. I'm not quite sure where to get fake passports or an untraceable car. The only shady folks we know are those punks who vandalized Hayden's apartment. I doubt they could point us in the right direction, but a long shot is better than no shot. They might agree to help us if we get them off the hook for stealing the data cache. We 
should check the police department and see if Lexi can pull some strings. Oh, Lexi is not going like this. As for the rest, perhaps Dr. Fairlight or Melody could spot us the credits. <laughs> that certainly is no small amount, but is unlikely to cause much consternation for either of them, assuming they are as dedicated to helping as they claim. Melody is assumably home as usual, and Fairlight did let us know he'd be at the hospital. We could ask either of them for assistance. Up to you to decide which would be a better course of action. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Well, I mean, Melody did apparently promise this guy the money, so I, th I think she's the first we gotta go to. But the first first we gotta go to is the NSFPD station. So we gotta go ahead and rip this band-aid off for Lexi and just get that slap that she's probably gonna give us. Alright, save. Oh. Let's just go ahead and save. Yes. Alright, uh, continue. There I go. I didn't expect you to show up here. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm happy to see you, Lexi. And your big old shoulder balls. I was just about to wrap up booking these two, now that they've had a little time to sit underneath the weight of their shenanigans. Hey, look! It's the snitch! You know what they say about snitches? No. Not in front of the detective, Chad! Hey, if you don't think the vandalism is enough, I'm sure I can write up a quick charge for that threat, too. Huh. We didn't do nothing that bad. This is bullshit. Oh, my dad's gonna kill me. Ah, you'll be fine, kid. <laughs> well, you should have thought of that before you decided to take your street art to the wrong street. A little community service never hurt anyone. It'll be a learning experience. That's not so bad. And we would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for... Chad, shut up! Alright, well, you know. I was gonna help let him off, but after that cliche, I don't know anymore. Don't call me that, Ollie! I told you I'm Starfucker now! Of course you are. Good job, good job. Good name, alright. So what's the point of watching all those ancient cartoons with you if I can't use the joke? I don't know the joke. I don't... I'm not hip enough. D what? Oh no. I'm missing a reference. Oh no! Don't dig us any deeper. We're in enough trouble as it is. They say it in every episode. Oh, is it the? Oh, is he talking about the, uh, the Scooby Doo thing? Okay, I thought Starfucker was a cartoon reference, and I was very confused. We're not on a television show, jerk. We were arrested by real cops. What? You think they haven't seen the show? Why do you always think everything is a damn joke, asshole? Oh, now look who's swearing. Goody two-shoes. Ahem, boys, if we're done arguing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, one second, I gotta... I gotta take care of something real quick.
Ah, sorry about that. My stomach is giving me some issues right now. Let's get back to these guys. Yeah, whatever. Thanks, Jonah. What I miss. So, what brings you to my lair? Ah, uh, ah, uh, music. Ah, uh, good, good music. Okay. Well, this is probably the least likely to get yelled at, right? Oh, great! Now what? We gotta pick up your dog's shit or something? I don't think it's about a dog. How would you know, Ollie? You Frederick Jenks now? What? How do you even know who that is? I got into your vintage games. I'm totally nailing the detective references today. Alright, well, there you go. Uh. There it's real, real, real quick. I'm just... Frederick. Blah, blah, blah. What is it? A game called Contradiction about the liar. Okay, well there you go. Now you know. Now I know. Did the two of you ever shut up? I guess that's like another game by this. I want to say click of developers. You know this one and uh, uh, Valhalla and. Y2K. Right. I swear I should lock you up just to spare the city of your ceaseless jabbering. My position as a servant of the public demands it. I'm not sure bad referential humor is illegal, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, fix your glasses, dude, dude. Bad? You're supposed to be on my side. Ugh. We really could use their assistance. Detective Rivers. It's my apartment in a way. Isn't it up to me to decide whether I press charges? <laughs> Not even remotely. <laughs> but fine, shake them. I can't handle being within earshot of the blue one any longer. Oh, that was easy. Aw, I thought we were really making a connection, Detective. <laughs> well, that is. Well. Do you, do you just want this? Is that is this what you want? You want I mean, I, I understand wanting this, but you know. You seem like you just want to get in trouble. Give you some street cred. Sorry about Chad, ma'am. He doesn't mean harm. We're very grateful. Fix your damn glasses, please. We both need to check in with our families first. So we'll meet the two of you back on Market Street. If that's okay. Sure, sure, sure. Of course. We'll meet you there, Oliver. What a waste of my time. <laughs> wow. No, sorry again, Lexi. We'll make sure they're useful to the case. Uh, don't worry. It's a hassle, but you know what we say. Gold in peace, iron in war. I don't doubt that they say it. I just don't know what they say. Back to the grind again. Stay safe, deputies. You too. Saved on and continue. Alright. Uh, uh, we can go back to the station. Oh, no, wait, what's this? No, Market Street. Alright, let's keep, let's keep going with these guys. Hopefully, they stay alive. Hey, it's Jim Sterling again. 
Who that? Don't. No. I don't want her getting mad at me about the robot. Uh, talk to Brian Mulberry. Welcome back. Care to take another pamphlet or two? No, thank you. Why are you out here all alone? Ah, the cold weather has made organizing demonstrations a bit difficult, to say the least. But I refuse to relent in our mission. Rain or shine, sleet or snow, I will not rest until I stop these abominations from undoing God's almighty work. Okay. Won't shutting down clients like this cost lives? That's a leading question. Of course some people have life-threatening afflictions, and it's a good thing that science has evolved to treat all kinds of diseases. Simply wanting cat ears and furry tails does not constitute a disease. A disease of the mind, perhaps. Oh shit, this dude hates furries. How dare. If the government strictly limits genetic alteration surgeries to only life-threatening emergencies, well, there would be a start towards undoing the damage. We are not God. We were made in his image, but his image did not include fur. I don't know, man. I've, I've seen some hairy motherfuckers out there. Um... You know what? Bye. Wait! Do tell me when you get the article out. I love to read the comments. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but doesn't most of the MeshNet speak critically of your organization? Oh, that's cute. The robot wants to join in the discussion now. Yes, this is true. Though historically, most revolutionaries are unpopular when they're in the middle of the fight. I sleep comfortably knowing that history will be on my side. I promise I'll write a fair assessment of the situation. Why, thank you. I appreciate bold integrity from good journalists like yourself. Oh, he's buttering me up good. Alright, thanks for the interview. And I'll let you know if I need anything else. Oh, please do. Have a lovely day now. Yeah. And remember, God designed you perfectly just the way you are. That's a damn lie. That's why I don't want to talk to him. He's just full of lies like that. I don't want to deal with that. I hate these guys. Okay, let's give him a talk. God has some bad taste here. Damn right he does. You know, look at me. Right, let's talk to all. The two of you are like a fuzzed sink wave. Even if you got us off the hook for that apartment job. We appreciate that, by the way. No problem. Yeah. Sure. Ah, oh, you're welcome. I like you, kid. You got moxie. Let's just get this over with. Riding this out is freaking exhausting. Then we'll be all squared up. For good. Right. What do you need us to do? We need some assistance with some illicit activity that, statistically, individuals in your age bracket are likely to have experience with. Oh! So this is one of those things where you need a streetwise kid to show you the ropes. Oh, he's so happy to have a trope. So, what's the thread? B and E, war driving, copyright infringement, surge bombing. Okay. Is surge bombing actually illegal? It's against the terms of service, so probably, at least in California. Let's see. We need to buy some fake IDs today if possible. Oh, that's nothing. If you can pay. Ollie can whip up a couple that'll work good enough to get you past a bouncer or a cop doing sniff tests. He's a wizard with a printer and a lifted wallet. It's more complicated than that. 
We need falsified passports that can get two people past the border safely. Oh, yeah, I don't think Ollie can do that. Can you? Not without equipment a lot more expensive and illegal than what I already have. What about that guy who got at least that unrestricted mesh card when she was on probation? Yeah, I think California is still California. It's just near San Francisco. That's near San Francisco now. But don't worry, in a few years of Jill, it'll just be new Neo San Francisco. That's not really the same thing, Chad. Also, is he still carrying around the paint cans? That's dedication. But it wouldn't hurt to give him a call. Give me a few minutes. This guy is pretty sketchy. Very cloak and dagger. I'll have to play middleman. Excellent. I'll forward you the relevant documents and photos. Oh man, now I'm starting to feel left out. All he gets to show off all his cool connections. Don't worry, dude. You still got your, uh, your, uh, I like your shoulder pads. Good job. Very, very, uh, Final Fantasy. I like it. You sure you don't need someone's head kicked in a little? That's my area of expertise in our little duo. Uh, well, if you can get a hundred thousand credits by doing that, you know, maybe we can talk, or a, a car, you know, keep it in mind. Well, that and petty larceny. How petty? We might have something that will suit your skill set. Let's just get the passports first, if you can stay calm for that long. You sure yap a lot more than any of the ROMs I've ever... owned. What's the deal? Curve legal. You install some new conversation routines Ollie ain't had the chance to nerd out about yet? Well, they're top notch! Very bleeding edge! I'm gonna have to, like, rip that out if you keep showing it off. Just saying. I don't run traditional ROM BI personality software. I am, in fact, the first fully sapient machine intelligence. Oh my god, so Turing, we are supposed to be now. undercover. Turing. Turing. We need to be incognito. You especially. And you are blabbing about this to a couple of kids. Not only a couple of kids, a couple of like known criminal kids. Petty criminals, sure, but still. Have you seen Starfucker? You think he's gonna keep quiet if he can understand any of this? Come on, come on, Turing. 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 Come on. Which means what exactly? In English. No, no, don't, 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 don't you do it, Turing. Don't you do it. He, you, you snuck by by being oh, being too smart for him. Don't 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 spell it out for him. Please, he's a person, Chad, not Damn a it. toy. Damn it. Keep it down. He's still on the phone. Oh, he's just casual about it. Okay, cool. Never mind. I was worried for nothing. No one cares, Turing. So still be quiet. Oops. And yes, what he said. Well, that's awesome. You ain't so bad for a tin can. Tin can. Really? I'm composed almost entirely out of glass steel and silica. No aluminum? That's that's pretty cheap, if you ask me. Has no one come up with better insults for robots since the turn of the century? Roms have been out for almost two decades. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Give me a sec. I'm pretty good at name calling too. I believe in you, Starfucker. It was shot. Oh no, I'm sorry, I brought it up. Just hold on a second. Underclocked? Oh, bit brain. Didn't there? Close. Don't hurt yourself, Chad. I'll get back to you, Bubblehead. Yeah, there he goes. That classic. 
star fucker. I hate gal. I he got gal. I call gal gal gal. I hate gal gal that thing, you know, with the, the lips and the the, not the the tongue and the eyes, that thing, yeah. Okay. Jonah got that round guy. spot. Cool, what do you say? He said he'll do it, but he only works in trade. Oh no. A couple of passports are gonna run us. One signed poster for magical commander Yukino, Yukino at the gates to the deep? It's a fetch quest. Heh, <laughs> course. It's always that Japanese crap. It's not my fault they make the best VR dramas. Maybe you can do better? Probably. Anyway, where can we get a poster like that? I'm not sure. Probably nearby. I've done switches with this guy before, and he never asks for something that'll take too long to get. My guess is he's a local that uses people like us as a way to nab something he's had his eye on. We'll help you look for it. And I'm just a VR drama nerd to ask. Hey! It, it, this is a JRPG. We got, we got fetch quests. We got a party. Let's, uh... No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, right there. There. I knew I saw a poster for Magical Commander Yukino somewhere around here. I should have remembered Ramona had one. Ramona really is the best. You know this lady? Sure. We talk sometimes when I'm getting our drinks. You're usually too busy provoking people to notice. You call it provoking. I call it spontaneous enthusiasm for healthy rivalry. God, your anime. There's a bit of a line. We'll have to wait a few minutes before we can talk to her. We could just do a smash and grab. It's simple and effective. We can't do that. She knows who we are. Us too. This is the most boring felony I've ever been an accessory to. Look, we'll just stand in line. Like a bunch of clumps? Er, chumps? Clump chumps. What is the big picture anyway, Blue Bomber? Hey, look at that. Postal 2 feelings? Oh no. No, 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 no. This is a good game. This is not. This is not, not that game. No, 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 we don't talk about that game. No, 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 no. Oh, say, look, more reference. Nerd humor. I'm not sure it's wise to spread it around, Chad. For either of us, the less you know, the less reason anyone has to bother you. Screw that, Static. I'm not heading to Juvie not knowing what for. What? Spill the beans! Or I'll spill them for you. Yeah, just make some mess, Chad. Your persistence is already legendary, Chad. Fine. If you really must know, we are going to trade the passports for some information regarding the disappearance of my creator. His apartment was the one you trashed. Oh shit, that Hayden dude is your dad? And they snatched him? Oh, that's so messed up. Yeah, so is graffitiing his broken into apartment. Well, dad, after a fashion, he raised me. Ma'am, I hope you find the dudes that took him. I hope he's okay. Oh, we got, we got daddy issue bonding. Trying to save the world from itself. 
that Superman? Even now, he's over there standing in front of that damn clinic. Oh. 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 Okay. And I thought I could find a way to make him. Just think, some people need to go to years of therapy to open up these emotional floodgates. Whatever. I might as well nuke that drive. It ain't gonna sink. You and your techno babble. He should get, you know, the cosmetic. Really show his dad. It's not a phase. Hell yeah! Dude's gotta stick together, you know. Oops. Don't matter if you're a robot or what. We all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab destiny by the horns and make your own mark. From the mouth of babes. Smarter than you look, Chad. Pretty much hot. Maybe you need to be pretty open minded from a kid. Tags the. For, uh, tags for the HR. Oh! Yeah, that makes sense. So is he supporting his dad with that? Or is he trying to frame his dad? Or his dad's movement, I should say? He's, he's a. You got depth, kid. You got more depth than I gave you credit for. So let's. let's, let's from the mouse of hey. babes. Won't fault you on good taste, but watch that whole babe thing. You got it. I'm taken, and I don't need no game being spit my way. <laughs> That's not. Never mind. I never shamed you, Dad. The line has finally cleared up. Let's go talk to Ramona. How you doing, Ramona? It's been a while. Well, if it isn't the luckiest jerk I've ever seen in my life. Oh no. Oh no, Ramona. I promise. I didn't mean to. I had to schedule a specialist to come fix my ROM, and you better hope they can. I, I do. Oh well. All's well that ends well. I underestimated how much people would appreciate an early Christmas. Anyway. Salutations, Ramona. What can I do for you all? Ahem. Chad, shut up. Shut up, I... Just don't ruin this for us. Oh, this is my friend, Chad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Oh, look at him being cordial. You might be able to give us your assistance, Ms. Rogers. We want to make a trade for that magical Commander Yukino poster over there. It's necessary for us to get some pretty important information. No way! Not happening! Nuh uh. Yukino is off limits. Let's see. It's literally a matter of life and death, Ramona. Uh, we can get you another. It'll only take a few days. We don't have time. <laughs> funny, but I don't want Ramona to hate me. Let's try this. It's not just a poster. It was a gift from someone. That's, oh god, sentimental value. I can't beat that. Someone I care about, okay? Besides, you can't get another one. Kakiko passed away a few years ago. Perhaps there's something else that would make a suitable trade? You aren't hearing me, are you? It has sentimental value. You can't replace that. Look, you'll just have to order something off the mesh because you can't have this one. Oh, we don't have time. 
This lead will dry up by then. Keep me out of this. Last resort. How does life and death depend on a nerdy poster? It did it, it really do. Like we're trying to help some guy. Look, I don't even care. That poster was signed by Takeko herself. Oh it's no. One of a kind, and I'm not giving it up. Oh god. I'm sorry, Ramona. I'd rather not drag you any further into this than necessary, but I promise that we're not overstating it. This is a dire situation, and people have already died. Jeez. Look, whatever you're doing sounds sketch as hell. It I, is. I, Magical Commander Yakino herself, want no part in it. Uh, that's, that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. I don't even see how the poster can help. Well. Man, you nerds sure do love your cheap crap from the net. Yep. Cheap crap? I'll have you know that poster is worth hundreds of credits. Maybe more. Takeko passed away years ago, so there aren't any more of them getting signed. It's special. Sure it is. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He's not in the fandom. Thankfully. What fandom are you in? <sighs> oh god, we have more options. Oh. Uh... I don't want Ramona to hate me. I really don't. But we got we got a time limit, and I it, I uh, it I uh, it did. Chad, do it. Hell yeah! I knew we'd get to the smash and grab. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I'd like to see you try stopping me. Chad, we're not stealing anything. None of your asses are stealing from me. And for the record, way. Way less moe than I thought. Damn it. I'm sure whatever you're working on is important, but it sounds way too illegal for my taste. I'm not giving up that poster. And there's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. Please, Ramona. Chad, you had one job. Nope. <sighs> uh, this isn't a joke, Ramona. Okay. How about this for a trade? I have an original keyframe cell from Pretty Champion Sailor Sirius, signed by Takeko at home. Oh, no. dude. Ollie. You're a real bro tonight. Whoa. You have a signed Sailor Sirius cell? That's super rare. They stopped doing keyframes by hand right around the time of her death. You can't be serious, Ollie. You have that thing framed on your wall. Anyone shut up about it for a week after you got it. This is important, Chad. You can't say you wouldn't do the same thing if someone had your dad. Think about Turing. I can't ask Ramona to give up something important to her if I'm not willing to do the same. Maybe. Chad, you have really good friends. Fucking square up, bro. Look, okay, I don't know what's going on, but you can't give me that cell for the poster. But we need... Yeah, yeah, you'll get the poster. Whatever you're doing, it must be really important if you'd be willing to give that up. Do you have something more equal to trade, Ali? A couple of things, maybe. We'll talk about it then. Maybe you can find me another one, too. Go ahead and take the poster. Thank you, Ramona. you how much it means to us, Ms. Rogers. Sure, sure. And, uh, you think I could see that cell sometime, Ollie? Ah, uh, shit. Invite her over, dude. 
some nerd friendship or the win. Of course. I'll bring it over when we talk about the trade. So cool. Right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't like the way she was flirting with you, Ollie. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know flirting when I see it. And I'm saying I don't like it. Not one bit. Oh, are they dating? Oh, did I know that? Oh, no. I forgot. Oh. Ollie, I, you know, love is a blind and all that, but really? Really? Okay. We just talk about old anime sometimes, Chad. Neither of us are interested in the other. That's good. Good friendship. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yes, I can kind of say. I don't know. It's, I, I feel like Ollie can do better. And Chad can be better. So. Oh, no. But who am I to judge? Go ahead and call this number, Turing. And now I can, you know, fix his damn glasses, maybe. He'll want to set up a drop with you, now that I've introduced you to him. Sure. Change the subject. Uh, I'll call him right now, then. It's ringing. You're the ones looking for some papers. We are, and we have the requested payment with us. Good. We're gonna do this real professional life. You know Stardust? I do. Head there. Leave the poster behind the Mega Fovator arcade cabinet and get out. Come back ten minutes later, and your stuff will be behind the machine. I understand. Good. I'll be waiting. Well, that was very mysterious. Yeah, that's how this guy is. I don't even know his name. And I've been getting things from him for a few years now. Who cares? Let him play Spy Master if he wants. Let's hurry up to Stardust and get this over with. I've wasted enough of my day with this crap. I mean, yeah, I appreciate you coming, but your your job is done. We just need to make the trade, and you, know, you don't gotta come for it. I mean, I appreciate that you're invested enough to do it, but you know. Let's see, save. Uh. Uh. Nerd. Nerd. Grin. Well, yeah, we still need the credits, but we don't need it from them. Like, they don't need to be there for it. We also need a car, which hasn't been discussed how we're going to get that, but, you know, we'll get there. Uh, Stardust? Two. Go inside to make the drop. We'll wait out here. Yeah. Don't want to get her IDs taken. I suppose I should feign surprise. Hey, it's a pretty cool set. Even if it is like a million years old. They don't really care about the IDs unless you try to hit the bar. Found that one out the hard way. He would have been fine if he hadn't taken a swing at the bouncer. So I like the hard way. We'll be right back, gentlemen. Try not to set the building on fire while we're gone. Don't give them ideas during. Hmm. No security right now. Oh yeah, the bouncer's gone. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Gus, how you doing? Oh, hey there. Do you need something? Nice. Is it just, uh, that should be everything, all right. Later, you two. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, we got her. That's the bouncer. Oh, that's the bouncer. Ooh. Okay, P bouncer. Okay. And, of course, Broke. Our emo snake friend. 
Can I go into the VIP section? Those off special lights are what? Uh, Megapode. Let's play a little bit of Megapode. Scanner ID to play some Megaphobador. I'm gonna give it another shot. Shit, I got an ASMR. Oh god. We'll hit that after this. Also, hey Alex, how you doing? Doing pretty okay. Don't try this. You died. Did I? Did I really? Okay. Still, though, not a terrible showing for a human without implants. <sighs> All right. Uh, items, poster. Right. Let's get that while I'm thinking about it. Alright, oh yeah. Some ASMR for Zypher Alex. Oh, right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen especially for Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison? Hopefully that sounds pretty okay. I may have not checked my mic before recording for the stream. So it might sound terrible. And if it does, then I'll owe you another one uh, next time after I fix it. Sounded perfect. Nice. Excellent. Bring back the sound. Put this dang poster. it has got to be a way to beat it. I don't know how. But it's gotta be possible. I wanna try it. Oh, I wanna try one more time. I just, just wanna give it a shot. One, one more time. One more. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Let's get, go. Definitely have health this time. Damn it. Oh, I didn't get the health. Oh, what the? F you died. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely, it's po it is possible. It's just, I, I am not very good. I have watched the Emperor's New Groove. Not in a while, though. It is, is the, uh, one of my favorite. Ah, oh, God, I want to beat this. Uh, I'm, mm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. Get my game mode on. Okay, come on. There's.
Oh, what? <clears throat> okay. You died. Yep. That was formidable. All right, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I can. I believe in me. I did not need to. Oh, I got hit too. It's kind of. What? I... I hit the health thing. Uh, my favorite cartoons. Uh, do you mean like shows or movies? Like, ah, uh, it's a tough one. Uh, fully cool. Like, I'm counting anime because anime is cartoons. If you didn't know, uh, I really like fully cool. The anime. I like the 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 uh, Gurren Lagans. I like Ed and Eddie. Really good show. Uh, the Oblongs. Uh, movies though. I I like Emperor's New Groove a lot. I like. I think Hunchback to Notre Dame is one of my favorites. So is the Prince and the Cobbler. Or no, the Thief and the Cobbler. Uh, shows, movies, comics. I don't know that many comics. Uh, but I like Scott Pilgrim. I like those comics. Uh, uh, I think that's pretty... I think that's, that's, all, that's what's coming to mind. So I think I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. Also, Powerpuff Girls. Samurai Jack. A lot, a lot of good stuff. Really, anything McCra uh, Craig McCracken makes, I've, I've, I've liked. However, I believe you beat it. Damn right, I did. I knew, I knew I could. A high score for sure. Yay! Those ghosts will think twice before messing with you again. Good thing too. Thank. You. What what kind of shows do you like, or movies, or cartoons in general? Uh, da da da. Hmm. All right, I gotta do this. Oh, items. The art drama poster removed from items. Well, that should do it. You like a lot of shows? What's what's someone coming to mind? That was an awful lot of fuss over a poster. I just don't understand the appeal of merchandise like this. I keep my important possessions on my data drive. Uh. Humans don't have total recall like you do. Yeah. Ah, that is true. Ramona seemed more concerned with it being a gift from a friend than as an item of importance in its own right. Oh yeah, vintage time, that's pretty good. Samurai Jack Power for Girls, good stuff, good stuff, good taste all around. Perhaps it is necessity to keep such things around as tokens from better times. Hmm. Perhaps I should pick up a few things from the apartment. Whatever's left. I do have perfect recall, but a few of Hayden's things would be nice reminders. 
Oh yeah, Castlevania show. Real nice, real good. I need to watch the Dragon's Dogma show on Netflix, see if it's any good. I like the game. I like that the, the, the game director, so gotta give it a shot. Especially now that Final Fantasy 16 has been shown off, and it's looking very Dragon's Dogma, if I do say so myself. It get me in the mood for some, some Dragon's Dogma. Memories are better for remembering than reading. Some read-only memories, you might say. Ah. I got wool, wool gathering, navel gazing. What's going on here? Head back outside so our benefactor can make the trade. But you don't know about cards. You're not, you're not Robert Turing. You're not Robert indeed. Do the deal? Yeah. How did it go? We left the poster behind the cabinet. And I kicked the cabinet's ass. I kicked its ass so hard. I've never had to wait more than five minutes or so before. It shouldn't take long. Uh, it said ten minutes, so you might want to be extra cautious. I wonder how he knows the drop happened, and gets to it so fast. It's like right there, I bet. Don't matter. This guy's a solid beat, even if he likes to mess around. Oh, uh, it's it's I. Mm, is is it gonna be the lady, the lady furry lady, the, the whatever you call it? What do you need these passports for anyway? You said to trade for information, but what's the full story? Without going into too much detail, our informant needs to get out of Neo SF unnoticed. The passports are one part of that. We also need to obtain an untraceable card. I don't suppose the two of you could help with that? Is that card traceable? No way, dude! Grand Theft Auto is a felony with a capital F. Coward. Besides, getting an untraceable car ain't in the same league as a piece of plastic that'll fool a hand scanner. Chad's right. Of course I'm right. The city's traffic management system keeps track of all vehicles passively. Even if you manage to circumvent their firmware and keep them from actively reporting to the network. You have to spoof the car as something permitted to be invisible for the CTOS to ignore it. I don't want to mess with boosting cars anyway. The junk's run that racket in Neo SF, and they don't play nice. Especially with the HR. Well, thank you either way. You've both done us a huge favor. Call it even for the apartment. Build, build one yourself, build a car. Better yet, build a fucking trotmobile. Break out of here in style. Yeah, Blue. No hard feelings. You give us a call if you need anything else. Long as it'll help you find your pops. We should get going, though. We were supposed to be home hours ago. My dad won't notice, but Ollie's will flip. You take care. Don't get de -rezzed. Is that a Tron reference? See ya. Bye. Goodbye. I like this too. I'm glad they they helped us out. Oh, well, hopefully they'll be back soon enough. Let's finish the trade inside. Hell yeah. Oh, there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey there. Do you need something? Mm. Later, you two. Mm. Bye bye. I don't think that was there before. Hey, friends. What can. Mm. Later, you two. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, we got the passports. Nice. Here the passports are, just as advertised. Now we need to find a car. Jess is right over there. Perhaps she may know someone who can lend a hand. No, okay. why? Why do you want me to talk to Jet? Why? Sure, but you can do the talking. Good thinking. All right. Uh, this guy got 
let's see. Hey, buddy. Need some hot tips with those crystal balls that pop up? Shh. Shoot them. I'll help you out. Oh, well, that's... The rod of Akishbishishish gives you life, and the dagger of power gives you a zapper some extra charge, and the eye of the sun blasts away all the enemies on the screen. Kaboom. The morning sun vanquishes the horrible night, right? Your tips are worthless to me, a champion of the game. Hi, Jess. Oh, look. It's my favorite human and the mechanical sidekick. Oh, it's a pleasure. Did you find your guy? Or wait, let me guess. There's something else you need from me. Well, you haven't been terrible to deal with so far, so I'm willing to hear you out. Barely. We need access to an untraceable car. An informant of ours needs to get out of the city without attracting the attention of Parallax and is offering valuable information to us in exchange. Seriously? Jesus, what kind of shit is in your life anyway? Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to be legally liable. I'm not sure why you think, just because I defend a few folks in the rougher parts of the city, that I would have that kind of connection. I mean, it's just worth asking, you know? And even if one of my clients did run a carjacking business, it's not like society is clamoring to give hybrids legal jobs. I didn't. Okay. Regardless, I'm not going to be an accessory to a felony, or let one of my clients be either. I won't go down that path. I wouldn't know where to start anyway. Oh god, I oh ooh. Ah oh mm, no. Mm, no, no. Is there any possible way you could give us any kind of lead at all? I know we're reaching, but this is important. You just don't quit, do you? Okay, let me think. This might be a long shot, but you could try asking Majid. There are rumors he may have been involved in some shady stuff way back in the day. He'll probably be reluctant to talk about it, but there's a free lead for you. Thank you kindly. Get me another drink in exchange, will you? Sure, what do you want? Huh, that went better than expected. I wonder if my charm is starting to pay off for us. Oh, you performed admirably as well. Thank you. We go. Oh, hey there. Do you need something? Yep, drink please. What are you having? I don't know. Wait a minute. A blue boy? A netherworld? A... Hey, you want a blue boy for helping out my blue boy? Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. Better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these days. Some of these cocktails make me need a spa day. <laughs> Sorry about stealing your thunder. This one is two thirds parts spice black rum. Two thirds part. That that math doesn't add up. That math doesn't add up at all. Or is it two to three? No. Six parts champagne and one lime zest. Ooh, that sounds something. One of the more sour drinks we make. But that doesn't mean it won't knock you out. Does that sound good? Yeah. Give me. Here you go. Thank you. Ooh. I'm gonna thank her for my blue boy. I should give you a drink right here. And let's give her a little drink. There you go. Huh. Actually did it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you, you helped me out. You, you, you did nice. You, you made me not hate you as much. A reward for that. Well, you scored a point. But don't think I don't have enough cuties around who can handle that. I think she just called me a cutie. You've got more important things to be doing. Get to move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay. Uh, da, 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 talk. Hey, friends. What can we get for you? A car. You could give us a little information. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. 
<laughs> What'll it be? Uh... May I pull you closer? Hell yeah. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these yep. days. Yeah, and you're getting all flustered this about it. Is... Okay, it's 50% vanilla vodka, 45% half and half. Um, what? And a splash of maple syrup plus two long strips of bacon sticking out. Oh my god. This sounds like the worst way to start a morning, but we're getting it. The best breakfast cocktail that we have. Better than a Bloody Mary, if you ask me. And a little less scary. I... I don't know about that. Like, I, I, lo I, I don't drink a lot, but I love me some Bloody Mary mix. Does that sound good? A breakfast cocktail. Yeah, for, you know, when you know your day is gonna be shit, so you're just gonna start out with that little numb... A little, little bit of no yeah, give me. Yeah, come on. Fuck go. up my morning. I don't see any bacon in there at all. So, what did you need help with? We've run into a roadblock in our search for Hayden. Word on the street is that he's gone missing, which I'm sure you already know. What can I do? A car. Yes. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city. But we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. How about this breakfast cocktail? Coffee plus milk. Boom. Is that still a cocktail? Does it have to... Does it need to have alcohol to be a cocktail? I mean, just throw in, just throw in some Kahlua. Plus vodka? Yeah, there you go. Exactly, we got it. Perfect. You know what? I don't even need the coffee or milk. Cut the calories. Excellent. Good to go. Just mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra legal activities. Extra legal? No. Oh. That so it was like super legal. So it was like really he, he was a really good guy. He just did really legal things. Gotcha. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help. He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Absurdly legal. He doesn't do anything legal anymore. Right. Sorry, friend. I left that life behind a long time ago. <laughs> Don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Ah, of course. Completely understandable. Call oh, one milliliter of vodka. So what you're saying is I just need to, like, Drink a whole lot of coffee and milk. That's well, I have, uh, let's see. I have this here 2,000 two uh, milliliter. Yeah, I got a 2,000 milliliter uh, jug here with water. Just replace that with vodka and we're good. It's true, you can just make a shot of coffee. <laughs> With a milliliter of vodka in it, then you'd get... Yeah, perfect. And we just throw them all into this big jug. And I'll just sip that on my uh, ride to work. And then by the time I get to work, they have to kick me out. Yes, it is a two liter. But it was all, it, it's listed as 200, 2,000 milliliters. It starts from 200, then goes to 400, and 600, and then it keeps going up. It doesn't say it doesn't do full liter. I don't know. Anyway. Sorry to bother you then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. You're just so legal. You used to be so legal, man. <laughs> don't let it go to your head. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock for the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hun. Ah, he's about to show us how to be super legal real quick. Well, that I just know it. A dead end. Any ideas on how we should proceed? 
some nose to the ground journalist techniques for finding leads? Uh, we could ask Tomcat for help. Maybe there's another way out of the city, or we could just give Vincent what we've got and twist his arm for the rest. Nah, right, let's give Tomcat a check. Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. That's fair. I feel a little bad about how much we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Um. Hmm, friend, Jesse's friend directly? No, she will not like that. Maybe we could find an old manually driven car? Oh, that could work. That's not the worst idea. I don't think it would get noticed as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. But the permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. A casual collector might still maintain one, but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. I mean, we're already getting a hundred thousand monies, so... We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Risky. No. Okay, okay, the two of you are killing me here. Look, don't tell Majid about this. <gasps> You're gonna teach me how to be super legal. But here. <laughs> oh my God! You said you just have that. Okay. What is this, Gus? It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. Gus got some secrets. Codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Why the urgency? Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around, to turn my life around. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to. That's how we met, you know? That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. But when Stardust struggled and needed money fast, I had to get back in the game to keep us afloat for a few years. I told him it was all angel loans, donations from patrons. Lots of things. He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. I had to do whatever I could to keep our new life, even if only one of us is really living it. I may as well give this thing to someone who wants to use it for good, too. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? Just get out of here and get on with your little Grand Theft Auto. And let me know how it goes, okay? Of course! Good guy Gus, coming in for the save. Oh, I had to leave my drink bot? Oh, no, I didn't, I should oh. Well, now I think we're cooking with gas, as the colloquialism goes. You're, you're getting you're getting some 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 mileage here with these, aren't you? I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. Ah, shouldn't we go save a rule? Go. Of using a VPN Turing. Hopefully. And you too can use your VPN if you just use NordVPN and use this code below at NordVPN dot slash VPN slash Nord. Uh, 
Uh, park the car, yeah. Give it a shot. Put a little thing on it. There we go. Oh, rats! This car has the wrong firmware installed. Can we get a People moving one? To install our new firmware over top of it. We'll have to check another car. Oh, none here. All right, map it up. Uh, uh, let's let her talk. Hmm, maybe we should ring the bell first. Ah, uh, yeah. hi, Pat. Hello, Pat. Could we see Melody? Same. I guess that means yes. Uh, hey, Melody, I need to. We got words for you. Tori, I'm not saying I don't like seeing your little pixelated face. You're certainly better company than most of the humans I have to deal with. Thanks. But I am a busy woman, you know? Who no. Has to do? You, you're, the, you're in the exact same spot. Okay. Right, Pat? <laughs> anyway, maybe we should space these little visits out a good bit further. Hmm? Familiarity breeds contempt, after all. And I'm very good at contempt. I apologize, Aunt Melody. You've stated before that you like your peace and quiet, but we need your assistance. I mean, this is your contact that you were apparently supposed to help out, so... Oh, we're running with the aunt thing, are we? Another woman would tell you not to butter her up, but... <laughs> oh, flattery will get you everywhere with me. All right. What do you need? Vincent needs help getting out of the city. I can only imagine... If he's willing to turn coat on Parallax, I bet he feels like a mouse in a cat farm. Yeah, I don't know what a cat farm is either. I know they don't actually farm cats, Pat. It was a metaphor. Yeah. See, Pat is my spirit animal. Whatever. It, it was a simile then. <laughs> I am not going to play semantics with you. Moving on. Tell me what the trouble is, and I'll try to conjure up a solution. <laughs> Let's be nice to Auntie. Yes, Mr. Mensa says he needs 100,000 credits before he's willing to speak openly. He also said that you already promised it to him, and that he won't be able to get out of the city without it. He'll give us the information once we have that, plus a few other things I'm certain we can get on our own. Well, you can't even scrape together that kind of money. Listen, I, d I do what I can, okay? Your friend's not much of a journalist, eh, Tori? I don't like you anymore. According to the statistics that I have found, it is unlikely that a journalist of any caliber less than the best would have that amount of liquid assets on hand. The pay for the profession just isn't that high, Aunt Melody. Oh, I... I guess it's one of those jobs people do because they get free review merchandise, eh? Yeah, I got these cool headphones. I could always sell Ninja Assassin Androids and said, true, true. Aha, uh -huh. yes, but I'm right here, because it's true. I am. I can get you the money, Turin. But only because you're family. Just give Pat a few minutes to gather. Yeah, yeah, I just keep moving, you big brute. 
While we wait, is there anything else you want to grill me over? Might as well save us both another visit. Are you turning us on the ass? How is Pat? How smart is Pat really? Or it seems a little sad that you're all alone except for a bear. I don't know, maybe turning us on the ass? I, I do. It's a little personal though. I'd understand if you didn't feel like answering. Just shoot, Turin. I can take it. Long ago, you lost your mother. Oh, wow. Is Okay. I was wondering, how did you deal with it? Hayden's only been gone for a few days, and I already feel like my circuits are going to lock up for good. Oh, Turin. I'm not the right person to ask. I hated my mother. She's everything I thought wrong in the world, and when she was gone, I felt nothing but relief that I could start undoing the damage she did. Never mind the fact I had to watch her waste away from the cancer. <sighs> Death was a blessing for us both. Besides, you'll find Hayden soon. Keep your chin up. Blast it! Enough with this subterfuge! We already know Hayden was killed. Oh no. Keeps the smile on the whole time. I won't be getting him back. I'm sorry, Turin. I still don't know what to tell you. I've lost people. Never anyone close enough to wound me. I, I don't know that I've ever had anyone close enough to do that. If you feel like talking about it, I'm willing to listen. Or make Pat do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Stick it out. Time heals all wounds. Or so they say. This too shall pass. I think that's enough of that. Oh, just in time then. Take the cash and get moving. Thank you. Oh, that's in the briefcase. Get back to whatever it was I was doing before you burst in here. Alright, good luck with that. Thank you, Aunt Melody. Your help has been invaluable to us. Yes, yes. Brown knows later. You've got things to do, too. That we do. Alright, let's get out of here. I wish there's a car we could steal. I would feel such a strong resonance with Melody. We're connected by the barest of threads, but she is already important to me. Is that strange? I mean, it's not strange, but you should be a little more cautious. We, we should all know. Is there anything to do with it? Hey, you're both lonely. There are strange things. What about you as normal? Hey, you're both. Very possible. I guess there's nothing to do but run with it. Some gifts are too valuable to look at too closely, lest they vanish into thin air. And I already have a penchant for overanalyzing things. Let's get moving. We still have things to do before we can meet back up with Mr. Mensa. Yeah, like stealing the car. You know, we got shade. Wait. Okay, good. There would be a good place to find. Oh. Detective Rivers, to what do we owe the pleasure? I 
wanted to check in with you away from the prying eyes of my corporate masters. It wasn't too hard to track you down here. Only took a slight abuse of power to follow your credit transactions in the AutoCAD system. <laughs> Let's see. Where are you able to find anything out? Not much. Listen, I've hit a dead end on the investigation again, and I could really use another lead from the two of you. I've been busy hunting down a... I'm not sure if I want to call him a soldier of fortune or an assassin for hire. Either way, I tracked this guy down to see if he might have been hired by Parallax to snatch Hayden, but he's got an ironclad alibi for the relevant period of time. That leaves me with nothing. Not a jack diddly shit. Do the two of you have anything to give me? Otherwise, I'm back to hunting down the froyo hating robot ghost in the park. At least my superiors would be ecstatic, considering how much they keep riding my ass about it. We're on thin leads ourselves, Detective Rivers. We have a meeting with someone from inside Parallax who might be able to give us answers, but he's unlikely to want to talk to the police. I wish... I just... wish this... Never mind. Fuck up, Zorin. I wish this was easier, too. But with detective work, sometimes it's not about being clever. It's just about being more dogged and relentless than whoever you're chasing. You two are my new deputies, right? Aww. So keep your nose to the ground and keep digging. I still have a few contacts I can hit up to try finding out a little more. You let me know if there's anything else I need to be going after. We will. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, sure. Just get going. Don't forget, if you die, I'm gonna kick your ass. Thank you. Okay, then. We only have a single lead. If Parallax really is as shady as Vincent seems to suspect, it could end up very interesting. Let's see if we can put an end to this. Finally. Uh, unless Murr's this time around. I just received an email from Tomcat. Hmm. They finished decrypting Hayden's data cache. It seems that it was filled mostly with his personal logs about my creation and mental development. The more technical information was already scraped. Perhaps that is why it was left behind when they snatched him. Still, these files should be enlightening, if only in a personal way. I'll peruse them in my spare time and let you know if I find anything interesting. I'd hate for all the trouble we went to to be for nothing. Eventful. Eventful moment there. Let's try... No. That car... Oh, okay, let's try the scar. Oh no, how did the alarm get set off? Did I do something wrong? Let's get out of here before someone contacts the authorities! Okay, we're over here. No car here. No car here. Oh, no, what, what, where? Nothing? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, wait. Okay. Alright, this is a different car. Oh, yeah, perfect. Two cars. Success! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Excellent. Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. And now we're gonna steal their car for it. Everything installed. Hmm, there are some other options here I can fool around with. I hope this isn't the dead lady's car. That'd be sad. Ah, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. Now we aren't really stealing the car. You're just borrowing it without asking. More like borrowing without asking.
I've been spending too much time with Turing. All right, I feel better already. Me too. The car will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Minsa where it is when we meet him. There, everything should be set up now. Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. We have everything he requested, so we should head back there directly. All right. Hello. You managed to get everything? Oh yeah, everything. Awesome. Okay. Drinking water. Welcome back, Alex. And I think we're about done with this chapter, so might have to hold off on that ad break. Ah, oh, God, you got me at a at a hard time. This I can't imagine this chapter is going on for much longer. I think I think I think I'll just hit that ad break next time. I remember. I damn gonna drink this water. In fact, I'm gonna drink two sips. Make up for that for Alex. Until next time. We did. Here you go, Vincent. All right. We got the briefcase. You got the passports, and you got the car steely thingy. Everything seems to be in order. Here. Hayden's research added to items. This disc has all of Hayden's research notes, data collation algorithms, and probably lots on your creation, Turing. It should be everything myself and Melody agreed upon, until she added an amendment while you were out. Frankly, it's no skin off my back. Here. Ooh, a parla parallax badge. It's my parallax employee badge. It should allow you access to their networks in case there's anything I've missed. You'll want to use that sooner rather than later. I'm not wasting any time leaving. Parallax is pretty fast to revoke security. There's no way Hayden's clearance still works. And with that, I'm going to get the hell out of this country. The credit should tide me over until the heat dies down and I liquefy my shares through some relays. What about the big project you mentioned earlier? Ah, I suppose I owe you that much. Buckle up. This could get heavy. Parallax is about to launch a new service they're calling Big Blue. At least, that's the project name. Who knows what the marketing guys will come up with for the public? They haven't named the project yet? They're not even announcing the launch. This shit is dead quiet. Let me explain why. It's a distributed intelligence. Like, okay, in every way that Hayden built Turing to be elegant, efficient, and human-like, Big Blue is ham-fisted, bloated, and sterile. They didn't pull Hayden into the project. He's smart, but he's immune to corporate politics. As a result, Big Blue is far less elegant than anything Hayden would make. It lacks his artistry, and it's downright terrifying it squats on the mesh like a spider and uses the spare processing power and memory from every ROM on the network to handle its intelligence processing it doesn't have much personality but it's very smart Big Blue is going to be embedded directly into the network and then self modify to apply even more efficient algorithms as it develops them in machine time Look, if you access every ROM, then you have access to every human and every bit of their own personal data associated with them. Right, Parallax be worried enough to get rid of Hayden? How did Parallax know about Turing and how will Big Blue impact Parallax's business? I mean, I, I, I feel like I know the answer to all of these questions, but, uh, sure. I can't really give you a good answer to that. I mean, the company is currently handled by a dozen server farms running thousands of different algorithms with hundreds of people tweaking things every day. When Big Blue launches, it'll handle all of that by itself. 
And there are shadier applications for it. I mean, if you can collate and analyze data and queries in the mesh in real time, what's to stop you from delivering the content you want rather than what the user wants? The potential for abuse is staggering. We're talking direct control of the information accessible to everyone who uses Parallax's services. That's something like 80% of the market. <laughs> it's too close to home. Yeah, this game... This game knows it's its internet stuff. They could control elections, push the market in directions they want, even influence public opinion. All just by asking big to do it. It's scary stuff. It's too real. What is this? 26-4? More like today. Aha. Oh god. They scrapped the prototype Baby Blue because it started doing that on its own. What do you mean? It started doing what? <gasps> Baby Blue. It all connects. Manipulating the mesh. They made its self-preservation imperatives too strong, and Baby Blue started changing search results to be more friendly towards the idea of an AI. When the board found out, they pulled the plug on it. And that must have been a year or so ago. They tweaked Big Blue so it wouldn't do the same thing, but it can self-modify. Given a good enough reason, it might decide to find a way around those limitations. Having that kind of control would be a hell of a card for Parallax's hand. They'll go to pretty significant lengths to make sure it works. Alright. I think that's good. Thanks, Vincent. Hey, no problem. I've had enough of this cutthroat corporate bullshit for several lifetimes. We haven't talked much, but I do believe you can find Hayden. I hope his research notes help you out. Oh, and thank you. Be sure to let Turing help. He's a bright little bot. Can do. I've always thought of Turing as a he. I think they go by Turing goes by they, and you called Turing a she. I think I think Turing goes by they. Pretty sure. Oh, slip of the tongue. I was just more familiar with Hayden's previous experiment, Grace. No. Oh. She was very insistent on things like that. I've been meaning to ask, Turing, since you asked me, how would you like to be addressed? Well, honestly, I don't think I've made my mind up yet. I'm still a very new being. I'm not even positive that gender as a human concept can be applied identically to machine. But I do enjoy the idea in abstract. I will continue to consider how I wish to be referred to as well. Until then, feel free to go with what you feel. If I had to make a choice, perhaps they is most appropriate. Most people assume it, obviously, but he is also consistently used. Perhaps it's because I'm blue? Perhaps. But I, I also. I like this one. I, oh my god. I'm listening to a machine postulate on how it wants to be referred to, like us. What have you done indeed, Hayden? Good luck to both of you. You too. Thank you, Mr. Mensa. Have fun in Mexico or Canada or wherever you go. Uh, be safe. How can I help? I've been going through some of Hayden's personal notes from the data cache Tomcat decrypted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that I'm starting to get to know Hayden better, the real Hayden as opposed to the Hayden he showed me, I'm finding that I like him less and less. Oh. For example, remember the earlier prototype Dr. Fairlight and Vincent mentioned? Mm -hmm. Her name was Grace, and Hayden shut her down for being... I'm not even sure what word to use. Too likable? 
She was kind and bright and did all she could to try to make people happy. She even decided that she was a girl and that her favorite color was pink. Hayden thought she was being manipulative. He posited that he had made her personality algorithms too willing to make adaptations that would benefit her long-term survival and that she was being congenial just to endear herself to him. That even her gender was a calculated attempt to make him like her more. But he was wrong. Dead wrong, in fact. I have a snapshot of her personality profiles here, and when I compare them to my own, I can see that she was just... nice. Oh. Um, I wonder if that... Well, you have the snapshot. I wonder if we can survive her somehow, maybe. I don't know how robots work. I wish I could have met her. I think we would have learned from each other. Like I said, I'm not sure I even have a gender. Everyone refers to me as he once they meet me just for convenience, but it doesn't really matter to me at all. Is that a calculated attempt on my part to impress Hayden? Not clinging to normativity? Or is it a product of his effort to curb any nascent similarities I had with Grace during my upbringing? Man, Alex, you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep, don't. Like, yeah, stream's almost over though, so at least it'll give you one less thing to glue your eyes to. If you do get some sleep, then, you know, hope it's some good sleep. I wish I could yell at him for being so arrogant. Playing God in the crudest of ways. Night night, Alex. Sweet dreams. You can't choose to create consciousness and then take it away just like that. Even so, for all of that. And thanks for making a wish. Hope it comes true. I don't know. I still miss him. This all seems so inane, so senseless. Killed him because him building me would mess with a product launch? That's ridiculous. They took him away from me for such an insignificant reason. I just want him back. It's impossible, but it's what I want. I'd do anything. God, I can be a real bitch if I wanted to. I'm aware of the Kubler Ross model of greed. I think I'm somewhere between anger and bargaining. A testament to Hayden's craftsmanship. Thank you for your words. You're a better friend than I could have asked for. Oh. I'll send this new data along to Tomcat. Let's head back to the apartment and wait for them to finish going through it. Ah, home sweet home again, such that it is. And before you say anything, I don't feel the need to talk over the events of the day. Too much has happened. I've already forwarded everything we've rooted out to Tomcat both Hayden's research and our aborted search into the modified mesh articles. They said they would be over in the morning to discuss our next steps. I'd suggest that we both get some rest. Can do. If that's what you want, Turing. Perhaps things will look better in the morning, but I have a feeling we're going to be even busier than ever. Good night. Good night. And good night to you. This game does not always save, so please be sure to save frequently. Can do. See that title screen for chapter five? Maybe? There it is. Alright. Yeah, that makes one good Mellow Monday stream back in the saddle. Thanks for watching. Good sleep. I will too.
Good night. Oh shit, Dawkins. Maybe not good night quite yet. Alright. We've got a whole crop of things to do and not a lot of time to get them done. I, oh, I can't save. Okay. I'll go ahead and save here. Save. Yeah, and let's do. Amy. Night night. Bye.